Hello, I am Dr. Srinivas Murthy TM, an ENT consultant practicing at Srinivas Speciality ENT Center, Malaysia. Nasal polyps are actually uh, outgrowths of um, the lining mucosa, that is the lining of the inside of the nose and the sinuses. When they tend to swell up and then come and occupy the space in the nasal cavity, then they are called as polyps. Now, the common causes for uh, polyp formation are uh, uncontrolled um, allergy, that is allergic rhinitis. Somebody having allergy of the nose, when they don't control it for a very long time, then they can have formation of polyps. There is also another uh, entity called as um, antrochoinal polyp. That means um, it uh, uh, takes origin uh, from the sinus called the maxillary sinus. The sinus which is uh, situated below the eye called the maxillary sinus. So this polyp takes origin from uh, the maxillary sinus and then starts uh, growing into the nose and then it can actually grow behind into the um, uh, back portion of the nose and then actually fall into the oral cavity. So this is called as an antrochoinal polyp. Um, the antrochoinal polyp is supposedly secondary to repeated infections. So the common causes are either infections, um, allergy. Now there can be a combination of both and occasionally we can see what are called as uh, polypoidal lesions. That means they will look like polyps but they may be totally different um, conditions like there may be a tumor sitting behind the polyps, uh, there can be what is called as bleeding polypus of the nose that means they tend to bleed a lot these kind of polyps from the nasal cavity. There can also be what is called as meningocele that means the covering of the brain is called meninges. This can sometimes prolapse or um, come out into the nasal cavity and uh, it can uh, appear like a polyp. So these are all things which need to be uh, taken care of or uh, kept under consideration when a um, diagnosis of nasal polyp is made uh, and these have to be ruled out and uh, generally we rely upon by doing uh, endoscopies and um, getting CT scans done to rule out these conditions.